Hello and welcome to another audio analysis. In today's video, we're taking a look at the track All My Life by the American rock band Falling in Reverse. This is the latest in a string of releases from the band, which will feature on their upcoming fifth studio album titled Popular Monster, which is due to be released on August 16th of this year. An album that's been in quite some time in the making. We've heard a variety of tracks that will feature within it, all the way back to sort of 2022 and before that. Songs such as Zombified, Voices in My Head, Watch the World Burn, Last Resort, the reimagined version of the Papa Roach classic, and then most recently, Ronald. And now we're going to be adding another string to that bow. We're going to be adding another section to that repertoire and this is certainly going to be very interesting it is featuring jelly roll on this track and given the thumbnail that i have seen we may potentially see a bit of a some kind of country vibe or some really wacky random element come into this track so it'll be interesting to see how they can continue to develop their musical repertoire so will this latest track be a lifelong masterpiece or an unfruitful flop let's take a look at exactly how it sounds And low, I've been sober, I've been fighting, searching for my love in all the wrong places. Word up on the streets is I got a bad reputation. Yeah, I may have true blood, but that was true love. Got a stroke of bad luck everywhere I look. Every time I go right, everything goes wrong. And I self-destruct when I'm close to love. So don't go save my soul. Oh, what an absolutely ridiculous track that was. What a complete barrel of fun. I was not expecting to have country, rock and rap all really embedded into one track. Really just again just showing the fact that Ronnie just, it's almost like he's playing musical bingo. It's like he's got his bingo card with me. We've, we've had a reimagined version of a, a rock classic. We've had some kind of rap levels that are trying to match the likes of Eminem. And now he's gone, you know what, what have we not crossed off our bingo card yet? I know, country. 
Let's do that. Let's get that out of the way. Just continuing to show that he really has the ability to tap into these different genres and almost have a ton of fun with his music as well. And despite the amount of fun that is actually shown in this track, there's lots of different things to talk about. You can really see why Jelly Roll fits this so well, not only for the country stylings that we do see and just him fitting naturally with that, but also some of the messaging that is found within the track. It's all about kind of going through the highs and lows of life. I've been sober, I've been faded, and Jelly Roll himself has been, it took him nearly 20 years to actually kind of rise to prominence in the musical world. It's only been these past couple of years he's really managed to make it into the mainstream. He's been in prison or jail for quite a number of times, I do feel, just for different things. He's kind of gained qualifications while he's been doing that and working himself into becoming a better person, and eventually that hard work has ultimately paid off. Same for Ronnie as well, has got a very troubled and very up and down past. So again, we've got these two characters that are really going through the motions of trying to kind of improve on their past and become better people, but I love the way they're really exploring that. Yeah, I've been sober, I've been faded, searching for my love in all the wrong places. Word upon the streets is I got a bad reputation. Yeah, I may have drew blood, but that was true love. So can really kind of touch on the idea of their past and the way that they're just really making those changes and have really become like kind of better versions of themselves as they've grown older. And the playfulness really does come through on that pre-chorus. Get a stroke of bad luck everywhere I look. Every time I go right, everything goes wrong. So really playing on these opposites quite heavily. We also can see that really emphasized in the music video with him riding in on this Pegasus, kind of being dressed in white, this good character, almost like an angel descending, and then kind of showing the darker side as well as we switch into the black and the chaos. And there's so many little fun little Easter eggs really embedded into this music video. Not only just him coming on him coming in on the Pegasus, that's that the idea of maybe being on a magical journey, the idea of maybe heaven, hell, things out like from the black and white. Also at the very end, the octopus just kind of crashing or the squid kind of crashing the actual bridge. And effectively it kind of shows the idea of going off the rails or off the track. So really being taken away from this kind of journey that you're on, this track that you're on, kind of being crash landed or effectively just really left in a position that's kind of quite difficult to climb out of. So lots of little clever little Easter eggs that I really did find and a lot of fun really embedded into the actual video itself. And especially as we start to move through the track and we move into that chorus, all my life I've fucked up and I can't deny I'm doing my best to get it together, together, together. And those little woohoos and these little things they're throwing onto the end of these lyrics, again, just to kind of give it that, that two-step effectively that people can really sing along with, really get on board with. And then bringing Jelly Roll in as well in that second verse, just kind of him talking about through his ups and downs effectively, baby, please cut me some slack. I know you want to get through to me, but I am my worst enemy. So it's great to see them actually really producing a track that whilst it is fun, does have that heavily embedded messaging in some of the lyrics that are really brought in. And as we move into that effective breakdown, it's really funny to see them kind of go for this almost two-step dance routine. It is embedded. That's going to be on so many of their shows now. It's really funny how they're kind of effectively inventing their own genre of music. We've seen rap and rock combine in the past and maybe rap and country, but really just kind of embedding the three. The turntables really being used was quite an interesting kind of moment. It's almost something we haven't seen since Limp Bizkit really being used. So a very interesting mix of different styles that I think he's pulled at the back. The two duo have pulled off really well in this collaboration. Really, again, just so, showing so much fun, really showing lots of quirky little elements, but still showing this slightly more serious messaging just to really add a bit more depth to the track itself. So there we have it, falling in reverse, hitting high noon and giving us yet another track from the upcoming album Popular Monster. There may be time for a, another track or two before then, given the rate they are releasing some of these and some of the interesting collaborations we have seen. But I would love to know your thoughts about this track in the comments section below. Can you live for this very quirky style that we have got coming through on this track? Or do you think it's one step too far in that direction of just pure silliness? Or did you see this on your bingo card? Did you know that this was going to happen? Did you expect this style? coming out of Falling in Reverse. I really would love to know your thoughts. Also, if you'd like to see more Falling in Reverse content, I have covered some of the other tracks from the upcoming Popular Monster album, so you can find links to those in the description of this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this overall, then please do feel free to subscribe, and I will see you in the next Dodger Analysis.